What is going on guys? Kevin over at Legros coming back to you with another video today. $236 we paid on eBay for this one. Looked like a bunch of stuff. It was just a bunch of minifigs in a bin. Kind of like the bins that I have. Uh, just the standard, you know, dollar bins <laughs> you see at Walmart uh, or wherever, Target. Uh, but it looked like a lot of stuff. So let's weigh it right here and take a look. If you guys want any of this stuff, I do sell on three platforms, Bricklink, eBay, and whatnot. All those links down below will, will be in the description if you want to click on those. $15 off your first purchase if you have never used Whatnot. I am a Whatnot affiliate, so go ahead and check them out. A lot of really cool sellers over there on Whatnot. So even if it's not with me, use that 15 bucks. Get your $15 off your first purchase. Uh, this is two pounds and six ounces, so almost two and a half pounds for 236 bucks. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. About a hundred dollars a pound, which is pretty standard for what I would hope to get. So uh, we're already on a good a good path. <laughs> it doesn't all look like city stuff as well. So there's the second check mark done for what we're looking for. We're looking for tings, which are valuable figs. We'll put all the valuable ones on the top. We'll put the more somewhat valuable ones next to them under the bottom or one line below and then research we will have as well as, as addition with like the uh, you know the standard you know one to five dollar figs uh there's a ninjago um anaconda guy we do also have nia this i believe i'm trying to remember which nia that was she's confusing me now that is not i'll have to think about it i'll put it right here i have to think about that one i don't, <laughs> I don't remember offhand uh this one's really good this is a jet trooper right here Fantastic. We'll put that one right next to Nia. Is this one cracked? That's the game we play. It is, of course, because it's Bane, and he's always cracked. Let's get some of these horses out of the way. There's some good horses right here. Old school brown saddle. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, this one is one of the newer Lord of the Rings horses right there. That one's better. the better of all of the horses. Uh, we'll put all these guys here. We also have some sharks. Let's get some of these sharks out of the way here as well. Do we see any more sharks? Oh, there's another horse. There's more sharks. Alligators, of course. Gotta have your alligators in here. This looks like some kind of dra or a dinosaur of some sort. Don't know what that was, but cool. <laughs> cool. All right. Oh, there's another horse. Another horse. Uh, there's a motorcycle. You're trying to get all these pieces. That looks like the uh, Razor Crest little little build of the Razor Crest. That's kind of cool. Another alligator. <laughs> They're just popping up everywhere now. <laughs> There's a whole can. That doesn't count. That does not count. All right. All right. Let's get into this and see what we got. Where's our tings? Let's find them. $15 and up to qualify for a ting place. That is a Death Trooper, and he is our first ting of the day. Right there. We also have a Shock Trooper, the Imperial Shock Trooper right here from the Battle Pack. He is also a ting, I believe. I haven't... I'm trying to remember what his price was, but I'm not 100% sure. We have the Sheriff from the Lego movie, Sheriff Drone, which is a pretty cool fig. This is one of the video figures where it uses that Bellatrix hairpiece, which made the hairpiece come down a little bit in value, but be a little bit more accessible for you guys. So that was, that was okay. We'll take that. Sometimes we take the good with the bad, right? Bad for value, good for the people. Uh, this is a good print on a breastplate and that guy's mustache on point. Absolutely on point. We have Hawkeye. Uh, another snake lover guy, anaconda guy. Uh, here we have a Geonosis clone trooper. That is another ting right there. He's just, those ones are just barely hanging on, but they're still good. Uh, resistance guy, he's fairly decent as well. Not great though. Frankenstein, or Frankenstein's monster, however you want to think about it. <laughs> I was told that Frankenstein's monster is actually not correct. Now I just don't know what exists, what's real and what's not. Uh, there's a Joker and an old school racer. We also have Papa Palpatine right here as well. He's probably right about there. We have a fake as all get out um, Hands of Time Kai, which we don't need any of that. We don't need any fakes around here. That's for sure. I've been doing it for a long time, so I can tell fakes. So if you're going to buy from me, that is one good thing about that. Woo! Of course. Got to have a daily woo. There's a Garmadon. Uh, this one looks like Black Widow, a newer form of Black Widow. I'll have to look that one up. Um, 
put it, look it up. Uh, Cause there is a form of her that is very good um, that I just missed out on whatnot the other day <laughs> on one of those. And I was really, I wasn't paying attention. I was really upset. This looks like maybe a new version of War Machine. I have never seen this before. Must be relatively new. So no idea on that one whatsoever. Some of these guys are actually really good. I am, that's one of my next projects is to do these ones. They're harder to look up on Bricklink because they came from, you know, a bunch of different sets. They don't, they all have their own names and stuff. So uh, it's always hard to look up, look them up when it looks like that or when they're, you know, each named individually. Uh, this is Duros. He just needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but that is a fantastic fig right there. Uh, this looks like Mrs. Claus, which I have never seen before. That version of her anyways. Here we have a, um, Trying to remember what the name of those guys are. I always forget about the Marvel villains. Like all the Marvel villains just they drive me crazy. I think this is a, a Nia piece, but I'll have to look that up as well. A uh, Two Face Henchman right here. We have a Iron Man. This is one of the newer versions, so one of the Iron Man that we will not put in the Ting pile just yet. Uh, there's a series Jock, I believe is what that one is. The Stone Warrior, Forearm Stone Warrior. That one's fairly decent. We'll put that one up there. Uh, here is a looks like spray painted set of wings. Why does it look spray painted? I'll have to look that up because that looks really spray painted. <laughs> I don't know. It does not look like how it came. The paint looks different than Lego paint. Uh, really? Newer version of Buzz Lightyear, I guess. I didn't know he had those wings. That movie was just... The cat was kind of funny, but the movie was pretty, pretty awful. Uh, Toy Story um, stuffed animal. I don't know what his value is, to be honest. No idea. I don't know what that torso is. Put that in research as well. We don't know, but we'll find out. Look at this. This used to be worth a lot more than it is now, but this is the original Phase 2 Grunt from that little turbo tank. Still good for a ting right there, but not as good as it used to be. A little Flash Flash 100-yard dash head right there. Superman head. We got Jafar's head. Don't know what that one is. Dark green cape. If you know what capes... You know what capes value are. There's an Utapau, um Airborne and an Aomir set of legs right there. Look at this one. This is Qui-Gon, the um, printed legs Qui-Gon. Hoping, I don't think the gray hair version of Qui-Gon is worth as much as the other ones. It's always hard to find his head. I need like a billion of the uh, Qui-Gon heads. Battle pack resistance guy right there, uh, along with this one. Old school town, not much there. Here is a or, uh, TIE pilot. Could not think of that guy's name. <laughs> Skybound Kai. Look at this. Look at this one. Two-Face. I was out of stock on him. Fantastic. We'll put him up there. He's not as worth as much as the 2006 original one, but he's still really cool. He uses the same hairpiece, which is probably why people buy that one and then they put it on their other one. <laughs> that would be my guess. Not much there. There's another resistance guy. We got Pajamas Dude. Here is a um, shoulder piece for a Lord of the Rings orc, which is kind of cool. Black Panther. Rest in peace. Here we have the uh, Rodian version. Not quite as valuable as Duros, but he is good as well. There's a pig. Gotta have a pig, right? I always use these uh, bluish gray saddles as well. Uh, is this Poe? Trying to remember who uses that sweater. Not 100% sure. It has the Millennium Falcon on it, which is pretty cool. I gotta, be, I gotta say. It's, it's, I'd, I'd wear a sweater with Millennium Falcon on it, I think. It's pretty cool. Shadow Trooper? Nice. Shadow Troopers have gone up quite a bit. Little baby raptor, almost choked right there. Uh, Shadow Troopers surprised me. They've uh, they've been they've been steadily climbing. There's rebooted Cole, and it looks like Obi Wan's astromech right there. Uh, what do we have here? Ooh, ATDP pilot. He's wearing a jet trooper um, thing, but ATDP pilot's good too. Dog Pound. Look at that. That is a good fig from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm trying to remember what, how, what his value was. I'm not 100% sure, so I won't put him in the ting pile right now, but he could very well uh, be up there. Deep Stone Nia. That's fairly decent as well. Uh, let's see. This. The legs on that. I thought those Death Trooper legs, but probably not. Black Suit Spider-Man. I think he's fairly decent as well. Uh, maybe about 10 bucks. Something like that. Uh, werewolf pieces right there. There's a Thanos hand. Here we have Chopper. Look at this. This is this stuff is not $100 a pound stuff. So that's what we're looking for. Uh, here is the Tribal Jack Sparrow. That one's pretty decent. Pretty cool. Uh, <laughs> I've never seen that fig before in my life. 
<laughs> the cupcake cool dude, we're going to call that guy. He is epic. I like that fig. Uh, there's an armor piece for an armored Batman. That could be pretty cool. Here's our ATDP headpiece. needs to be cleaned out a little bit, but uh, so does everything, you know? There's our armored Batman uh, headpiece there, too. Uh-oh, low battery on our phone. Hopefully it doesn't die. Uh, I'll have to plug that in. Yoda, I'm going to get through this before it dies. We're at 20%. We should be okay. Uh, resistance guy again. Not much to see there. Sh original shell guy. Who remembers those? Who was alive for those? Comment below if you were alive for the original shell guys. Another breastplate knight. Very, very good uh, condition. The Christmas version of Grogu. Super cute. Also pretty good. Uh, let's see. What else could we find? There's the old school Duke Skywalker head. Uh, Calculator Man headpiece there. Here's some Lord of the Rings headpieces. Vader's headpiece. Oh, Luke. Luke's rolling back to the pile, so is Vader. They're like, nah, I don't want to... I don't really want to hang out with you guys. Uh, Deepstone J. I'm trying to remember Deepstone J's value. I don't remember quite a lot, so we'll put him right there. Final Battle J, though. That's one of the ones that I always need. I don't know if he's $15 on his own, though, so we'll put him right there. It's $15 when I put them in a pack. Here's another Black Widow, so we don't know which one's a valuable one. Hopefully it's one of these two. I don't think it's this one. I think it might be the other one, though. Or both of them are not. <laughs> it's possible, too. Nick Fury, I think there's a remotely valuable version of Nick Fury, but he looks exactly the same as all the other ones, so it doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, what makes him valuable? I don't know. A Rogue One Stormy? We love those. Absolutely love those. Here's the other... Um, Jet Trooper, right there. Look at this. Look at free hair. Nice. I love free hair. Put that to the collection. Uh, wrong hat. Uh, but that is Blackbeard. Fantastic fig. Fantastic fig. A little elf. Lord of the Rings elf weapon. That's pretty cool. Harley Quinn hair piece. That's pretty cool as well. We're starting to sell more parts and pieces on Bricklink. It does take a long time, so it's going to take a while for me to get up there, but that's what we're new. Our new goal is to do, there's the other uh, stuffy from that set. Um, that's what our new goal is. So I can, mo mostly just so I can find stuff myself, to be honest. If it sells, awesome. If it doesn't, then I'll be able to find it when I need it. Instead of digging through bins, it takes me forever. Uh, there is Leonardo. That's fantastic. And a uh, Heartbreaker Iron Man that is not cracked. Holy Toledo. Look at that. This is a great great haul for the money that we paid for it no idea what the value of that wonder woman is we'll put that in research right there because i haven't gotten that one before still too new i get the retired stuff that people are trying to get rid of look at this this goes to a 25 dollar series fig yes please i will take that is that a banana peel is that a real lego piece it looks like it might be can't see if that says Lego. I'll have to research that, too. I've never seen the banana peel piece. That's kind of cool. Uh, Nindroid slash OG Cole. Right there. We got a Krang head and a Shadow Trooper head. Put that up there. Stas Ali, but unfortunately it is scratched to heck, and so is that um, Lando head. Unfortunately, all three of those. I would have liked all three of those uh, head pieces for parts and pieces to go in. Uh, either in my store or just on one of the figs that I need them for. Uh, Hoth Trooper, we got a Hagrid beard. This is a good one. Padme with the medium legs. Not quite as good as the other Padmes uh, that are out there, but Padme is a Padme, right? Am I right? Uh, nothing there. There's another Lord of the Rings orc piece. Another little baby raptor. The newer version of the shell. Actually, we'll, put that, we'll just put that there. Shell of a Ninja Turtle. Original TIE Pilot, we got a DX Cole, about as faded as possible. <laughs> now that one is real, uh, that one's for Falcon, uh, I believe, but it's not red like that one, so. <laughs> Interesting. Uh, there is a spongy dark blue cape, which we will use for sure. Maybe for a Bears or for a Nare, possibly. Uh, that is also Black Widow, I believe. Look at all these Black Widows. Look at all of them. Uh, here is another Wonder Woman. We like that piece a lot, actually. We sell Wonder Woman very, very quickly. There's a fake Moro. Uh, believe it or not, I sell this guy probably more than anything else in the whole store. He's like five bucks, but 
<laughs> I sell him so much. It is absolutely bonkers. There's another horse we missed. Uh, there's a shell of a turtle. The regular shells. Uh, what else we got here? Nothing, 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 nothing. Uh, that one could be fairly decent, but I don't remember offhand what it goes to. One of the Imperial, Black Imperial type dudes. Speaking of Imperial commanders, pretty much all the Imperial commanders are pretty decent, to be honest. A deep Stone Hole. Uh, I'm trying to remember who this guy is. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he's valuable at all, but I don't remember. I also don't remember who he is, so. <laughs> uh, here's the new sorting hat. That's pretty cool. They didn't make a print on it. They just made the folds, which is really, really, really neat. Uh, Iron Skull, about five bucks there as well. But uh, he's a notable figure, right? Relatively notable. Here's Bane's headpiece. That looks like it's at least in good condition, uh, which we'll put right there. Pink skirt. What else we got here? Emmett. Thor, another of the uh, Buzz Lightyear figures. I'm looking for the Jungle Robes Cole. Unfortunately, I haven't found him. Jungle Robes Kai, right there. Uh, here's an old school Black Falcon Knight. Fantastic. All the old school knights, as long as you get them in good condition, can range about ten bucks. Uh, it really depends. Here's a new Black Falcon, just for comparison. Uh, not quite as good as the old ones. One of these guys is really good, too. I'll have to look up which one it is, but uh, there's Captain America, so we'll put him in research as well. Another Blackbeard beard. Look at that. And an Iron Fist that is not cracked. His head is the one you always have to get uh, correct, but or get in good condition. What is this? It's like a little alien thing. <laughs> this is This is not... This is not Lego. No, that's not Lego. That is definitely not Lego. Uh, here we <clears throat> have a uh, war machine. <clears throat> My voice is <clears throat> about to go. See you later. <laughs> uh, Thanos. Oh, get through it. <clears throat> We're working through it. We don't need any of this. We don't need any of that. That's for sure. There's a sawfish head. Did I miss anything? Mandalorian headpiece. All sorts of really cool pieces. This guy's not supposed to have regular minifig arms. That's creepy. <laughs> super, super duper creepy right there. Overall, for a hundred bucks a pound, absolutely fantastic. I'll do that deal every day of the week. Get a pile up here, stuff from your hundred dollars a pound haul. That is that's always a win. So this was this was a good one. This was a good one. Here's the uh, Grogu carrying sack right there. Uh, but uh, comment below what your favorite one of today was. I'm going to go with. Hmm. What's my favorite? What's my favorite? Maybe an unbroken Heartbreaker Iron Man. One of the best Iron Mans ever made, in my opinion. Really, really cool colors with the blue and everything like that. But Iron Man always cracks, so... <laughs> An uncracked Iron Man sounds pretty good to me. Uh, or Mrs. Claus. I've never seen this Mrs. Claus before. That's pretty cool. Anyways, comment below. Love you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.